We're not bothering with an analysis of the Turkish lira. That thing's practically on life support. Quick heads up though. Trade what you're seeing, not what you think you know. Now check this out. Here's 2710. Slap some shorts on silver. All right, let's, uh, let's dive in. Euro is still in a holding pattern. Our level has been holding steady so far. Always double check that the level's crystal clear. The price is the ultimate litmus test for level accuracy. The clearer the price, the stronger the level. Now check this out. We marked a reversal level before the false breakout. The low of that bar is 1.07.31, and this one's low is 1.0729. Yep, just two ticks off in the fifth digit. But hey, that's okay. The level's spot on. And check this. The high of this bar is 1.07.29. Almost spot on, right? So a fresh new level emerged here. If the asset lines up nicely above this level and our entry criteria are met, you can easily enter. We've gotten a sweet level where the price has hit it dead on three times, almost down to the penny in the fourth digit. So pay close attention to those levels and how they're playing out. And don't forget to keep a close eye on how the asset approaches the level. When you see the asset inching closer to a level, that's when you know it's got a better shot at a breakout. But if it starts veering away, well, the odds of the breakout drop. Understanding the speed and what bars it's happening at is key. Got it? All right, let's keep going. Keep GBP. So yeah, the level's holding steady for now. No breakthroughs yet though. I've still got GBP on my radar for a long position, but it's been struggling. Moving on. Gold. I'd attempt to open a short position here around 2308. Why? Well, listen up and jot this down if you need to. When an instrument like gold sees a false breakout without a significant pullback and it's sitting in a strong zone like this, it usually continues in the direction of the primary trend. The asset is likely to keep falling, so in terms of 23.08, the level's pretty much the same. Maybe a tad adjustment, just a smidge higher around 23.04 or even 23.05, but accuracy is key when marking these levels. The crucial thing is to split your level into two zones, a long zone and a short zone. That way, when we shift from one zone to another, you'll know who's in control and who propels the movement. For instance, there's a bunch of folks taking losses above 2400. Sure, it's not a massive pullback, but if gold enters, watch out for a strong level around 21.49. Once it dips below 21.49, Brace yourself for a solid downward movement which may push the price down and break out the level formed by the tail of that paranormal aka massive candle. If we decide to take a short position on gold here, chances are it will keep on sliding. Anyway, moving on. What's up next? Uh, I'm not even bothering with the Turkish Lira anymore. Uh, it's on a slow downward spiral. Uh, I stopped paying attention when it hit 16, because the interventions happening now are just like what's brewing for the JPY. Uh, intervention is pretty much the only way to prevent the currency from tanking. Honestly, it's taking a beating against the dollar. Anyone living in or visiting Turkey can see how the lira has tanked over time. Remember when it was 6, 4.5, 5, 6? Now it's 32. So expect prices to keep climbing in dollars. Bringing dollars won't magically fix things. Onward, oil. So let's talk about oil. It's kind of stuck in this really wide channel, just wiggling around. Chances are that it's not gonna break out of this channel anytime soon. Within this channel, we might see this level kind of fading away and boom, you've got this mega wide channel. When an instrument's stuck in such a wide channel, it tends to act like this until there's not enough buying action to keep it going. Why do we think the oil market's pretty stagnant? Well, it's pretty simple, really. You know, conflicts are brewing left and right, but oil's not batting an eye. Remember a few years back, three, four, five years ago, if there was any news about oil, like a bomb going off somewhere in oil-rich countries like Syria or Saudi Arabia, oil prices would skyrocket. We're talking like five, seven, even 10 bucks or a 10% jump in oil prices in a single day. But now, nothing. Oil is just doing its own thing, super sluggish. So unfortunately, oil's not exactly the hotshot for trading these days. 
Now, on to the S&P. We pretty much saw all the moves coming in the S&P, so that's all good. Uh, the market is slowly easing back into its groove. But hey, here's a tip. Trade what you see, not what you think you know. That's key. So here's the deal. What, when, when the market stops sliding, that's your cue to pump the brakes on trading it. But when it's on the up and up, that's your green light to dive right in. Now, pay attention because this is key stuff. It's essential, first off. You need to understand that the market is all about the price. Everything else, just along for the ride. So let's say an asset has entered the long zone. It's going to drag everyone along with it. Think NVIDIA, Meta, and of course, the one and only Tesla. Man, did Tesla throw us all for a loop yesterday? Now on to the dead pair. CHF, JPY. Next, CAD, JPY. This one didn't quite hit the mark. The Japanese yen made a little comeback, you see. Had some action with the Australian dollar. Now, that was a sweet ride, let me tell you. There were coins as well. This is our pro channel. Those who are there, do leave a plus sign in the comment section. Even with the market playing hard to get, you still nailed it. Regardless, we did really well. Seriously, three days of real trading and we're up 100 risks. That's a cool 10 grand, folks. Trading with just 100 bucks at stake. Bottom line, there's always a silver lining in the market. You just have to know how to spot it. All right, moving on. No action on the Canadian dollar front. GBP, JPY. Now, GBP, JPY. Pay close attention here, folks. Hey to everyone tuning in. Seriously, take a good look at GBP, JPY. I've got a hunch GBP, JPY is on the rise. Here's the deal. The price has been dancing around this level, right? So what would I do? I'd move this level a bit, you know? The previous one just wasn't cutting it. Let's reassess. Check out how solid 192.96 level is. 192.96 down to the penny. See, the level was readjusted ever so slightly. In other words, if you spot some zigzag-like movements on the daily chart, feel free to readjust that level a tad. See, we've got ourselves a solid level. This is a lovely setup. I love it. Now, on to JPY. It's a slow mover, but boy, does it pack a punch when it wants to. Check it out, JPY. It's inching along, but man, it's tough going. All right, let's keep it moving. And silver? Oh, silver's my jam. I'd go short on silver, no doubt. Mark my words, 2710. I'm going to show it to you now. 2710 for silver shorts. Looking sharp. Awesome setup. Check it out. There is no false breakout here. Just like I said, the asset is on a selling spree. But hey, crypto's swooping in to save the day, so no need to panic. Trade away. Got some solid crypto news lined up for you real soon, so stay tuned.